Hello and welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you are seeing there is a genuine Tibetan singing bowl that I came across in a thrift store. They didn't know what it was. They thought it was just a, one of these cheap Indian brass bowls. But I recognized it and I bought it for 50 cents. I've had it for quite some time. Um, you don't hit these things. This is a pretty hefty dowel and I've found that if you get it a little bit wet I'm in the kitchen, if you get it a little bit wet it works better. Here's how you work a singing bowl. You just it's like uh, making a wine glass sing. That's the bowl. There it goes. Uh, just by coincidence, there are some wind chimes in the background, but the steady tone that you hear is coming from the bowl. You can see that it starts vibrating so much that it actually starts bouncing the dowel, and that's where it gets that harsh that sound. Okay, put a little water in the bowl. See, just to see what happens. Now, I don't know if you can see the surface of the water with the lighting, but uh, maybe you can. Can you see how there's that vibratory pattern developing on the surface of the water? Now there's an actual vortex going on in there. There's a traveling wave that's circulating around the bowl. Thanks for watching the Tibetan Bowl demo. Okay, now I've got it sitting in an oil bath and it's just about looks to me looks to me like it's just about boiling. That's hot. Well, I think that's that's boiling. I don't think there's any doubt about that. It's not just vibrating. Um, I don't have an electric range here. This is a gas range, so I can't uh, quite just set it on the stove top, and I don't want to put it directly down onto the flame. So this is the closest I can come, and uh, it's it's boiling. It's definitely boiling. Uh, okay, I'd call that a failure to replicate. Thanks for watching.